All right, guys, here it is, my brand new Alpine MRX M110. I just wanted to uh, share with y'all the unboxing. It's got real nice packaging. Got little, ooh, these are nice. I like how firm these are. I can tell the box kind of, kind of rough, but that's not Alpine's fault. Go ahead and get this out of the way. Those are very nice. Pretty hard too. Here's your uh, speaker level input, mounting screws, and an Allen wrench. Nice and secure for that. Got the uh, operator's manual here. Let's take a look in there. So we got our warranty papers. Ooh! Alpine Verification Certificate, 7-4 of 2013, got the serial number on it, well that's nice, I actually show you what this amp individually put out, I like that, more crap, actual pamphlet, alright, let's get to the good stuff here. Wow, I can't believe how small this thing is. God, that is beautiful. Very gorgeous. Very good looking amp. Got our uh, our gain, subsonic filter, low pass filter, and the bass EQ. It's got a uh, pre out pass through. Nice big amp wire hookups. Pretty good sized speaker connections too. 425 amp fuses. Let's see what else we got here. Ah. Nice. Hidden in the box. Are these nice little covers? Man, that's gorgeous. Actually, this isn't any bigger than the first amp I ever had, which was a Jensen 400, one with the little sliding cover with all the knobs on it. This is actually about the same size. And for an 1100 watt amp, that's pretty nice. Look at some of the specs here. At 14 and a half volts at 4 ohm, 650 watts RMS. At 2 ohm, 14.4 volts, 1100 watts RMS by one channel. That is sweet. And that's with less than 1% total harmonic distortion. Let's see, signal to noise ratio, frequency response, damping factor. That's a really important one. Everybody overlooks the damping factor. But when you've got, you know, four subs moving, there's a lot of weight for that thing to try and stop on an instant. But at 10 watts into 4 ohms at 100 hertz, it's got greater than 1,000. That's pretty nice. 
a variable low pass crossover 24 dB per octave 50 to 400 is where the low pass is adjustable at the subsonic filter is 24 dB per octave as well 5 to 30 Hertz variable let's see this is what kinda intrigued me was the base EQ most of them it says base boost anyway it's a variable base EQ from it's centered at 50 Hertz 0 to 12 dB plus so it's basically a base boost they called it equalizer let's see the preamp output notice I said it had a uh, low pass or a The preamp out. Sorry, it's first thing in the morning. It's still early. The preamp out. It's buffered. 4 volt max. It's just a pass through. It's unaffected by the crossover or any of that. It's actually got a RUX knob input as well. A standard remote control for your existing knob which is pretty nice all right let's get to dimensions let's see overall width is 13 and 3 8 inch heat sink only from here to here is 11 inches uh, let's see the height two and a quarter inches tall and it's nine inches this way so it's a very very small amp could go under a seat could hide real nice just about anywhere but I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at my new toy I got this thing later in the evening yesterday and I wanted to unbox it and share it with you guys because uh oh I got one more thing set this aside real quick Remember in my install video when I was running all my amp wires and stuff? I'm not sure if I got the final edit done on that or not, but uh, anyway, I was using incredibly, I mean, insanely small wire for my power, and it was, it was embarrassing, but today, what I'm going to do right now, my Fosgate 4-gauge amp kit. Yeah, buddy. They're bragging a little bit here, but this really does make sense because I've cut through a lot of them. And, uh, yeah, there's way too much insulation on them. You know, you get a wire that's this big around and it's actually this much wire. But, anyway, here it is, guys. Enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe so you can keep track of my progress as I go. Just a uh, Hit me up with comments, questions, anything you want to know, like me on my Facebook page so you can keep track of what's going on. But I appreciate you guys watching. Do not forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys.